Hey y'all, what's up? It's Alicia, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be um, all about me transforming my garage or like part of my garage into a home gym. I knew whenever I bought this house, I knew that I would want to um, kind of like reorganize the garage because I work out from home a lot. Um, just because it's more convenient, I can work out before she gets up. It's just, it's all around a better deal. But um, whenever I was working out from home, I was having to like bring stuff out of my garage into my house and it was just too much of a headache. Um, and I, I wanna make this as simple and as, and as convenient as possible. So I figured that I would just transform my garage a little bit into a home gym. I already have a vision in my head of how I wanna do it. And I figured I would just take you guys along to show y'all how I created my own little like home gym. It's super duper affordable. Well, I guess it's kind of relative to the person, but it's pretty affordable to me as far as like what I'm using for my gym equipment, um, how I'm gonna organize everything. It's, it's honestly pretty affordable. So um, yeah, I wanted to show y'all like the step-by-step -step process. I will first show you guys what um, what I bought for my home gym. A lot of this stuff I've already had, so I'll show y'all what's old and then what's new, and then we'll go ahead and transform the space, and I'll show you guys the final product. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Okay, so what we have so far for my home gym, mind you, I don't have like a ton of equipment. Most of this is like simple, you know, it's just simple at home equipment. This, um, treadmill I've had for years since I first had Valerie and it's still functioning properly. I got on Amazon for like $200 and it's still coming through for me. So I will still be using my treadmill and this bad boy, it does fold up. I'll probably keep it down in here since I don't really need to have it up, but if you are short on space, this um, treadmill does fold up. So if I can find it, I will link this and everything else that I mentioned in today's video down below. I also purchased these floor mats um, because just, you know, working out on concrete is not the best for your feet. It's just not the safest thing to do. So I did get some foam mats to put down on the ground. These are just some simple black foam mats from Amazon. I think I got pretty much everything from Amazon because they're lifesavers. So I got like two packs of these foam mats. I can't remember the exact size, so I'll link them down below, but they are very durable um, and it just, feels like it'll be great support for my feet. I do a lot of like um, hit exercises as well as weightlifting, so this will be really good. Um, I also got this medicine ball. You guys know medicine balls are like great for working out. I got the 12 pound ball. I didn't feel that I needed anything too much heavier than this because 12 pounds in a medicine ball is like, it's pretty heavy. And honestly, I don't use like super heavy weights. I like to keep it, like moderate because I do a lot of circuits. So this just works out so much better. Like 10 to 12 pounds is a fairly good a medium for me. So I got this medicine ball from Amazon as well, Amazon Basics. I think I got like a pre-used one um, and it does the job. It was a couple of dollars cheaper. <laughs> so I try to save money however I can. So got this medicine ball. I had this ab roller for shoot a few years as well this is just a simple one i got from like ross or a tj maxx gets the job done it's functional it was like five dollars from there so got one of those bad boys as y'all can see i also have an exercise ball this is gonna be great for core workouts yoga pilates if i want to do some pilates exercises at home just it's a great this is like a must have for me for a home gym. Like I have to have one of these. So I bought this exercise ball from um, Amazon as well as a pump. So that's kind of where we are going with the exercise equipment. I still have this yoga mat from a couple of years ago. I think I got this also on Amazon. It's been getting me through all of my workouts. I love using it and it's great for like laying down to do core exercises and all of that fun stuff. So there's that. 
Um, let's see what else. Those are some mirrors that I will be hanging up on my wall. It's just two like 18 by 36 mirrors um, that I think will be the perfect amount of mirror space on the wall. I may add a third one depending on how these two look, but just looking at them side by side and considering it's just me, that may be enough. So we'll see. <laughs> and I got these mirrors from um, Home Depot. They were $50. And let me tell y'all, those are the most affordable, the most affordable mirrors I could find for that size. Everything else like was at least $150 per mirror. So if you're looking for some really big like home gym mirrors, I would highly suggest checking out Home Depot. These are by the brand Glacier Bay, and yeah, $50 per mirror is like not bad at all. <laughs> like I will pay that money for those size mirrors. So we got those. This box right here is my bench. I was debating on if I needed one or not, but honestly, I really, I really didn't need, I needed one for sure because a lot of my exercises require like me sitting down and like lifting weights or like me putting my feet on and doing squats. Like I definitely need some kind of bench. And this bench here I got from Amazon and it does um, folds up for added storage space. So functional and I think it'll be a great asset to my home gym. I can't remember the price of this one, but I will link it down below. These weights I've had for like two years now. They are by the brand Bowflex. Um, these are pricey. I will say they are an investment, but the reason why I love these is because it's just one set of dumbbells, but you can adjust the weight. So I can go from five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, like, I can adjust the weight and it's only one set of dumbbells so it's not taking up a whole lot of space and because this is a small space in a garage I need for it to be as tight <laughs> and as um, just functional as possible and then let's see over here is the last two pieces of equipment that I have for my home gym this is just a kettlebell that I got from Target it's a 12 what's this yeah 12 pound um kettlebell and this was like the perfect size for me it's y'all it's pretty heavy <laughs> it's pretty heavy so this will be great for like squats sumo squats things like that and i also got a really light set of weights because this um dumbbell set only goes down to five pounds and i wanted something a little bit lighter for those exercises that have a ton of like reps that require light weights so these are just two dumbbells, three pounds each, um, and they are just really lightweight, but will be like the perfect addition to like those workouts that require a ton of reps. There you go. Oh, and a fan. I got a fan mainly because I live in Texas and I know it'll get hot in here. I just, I know it will. So got myself a fan to cover that part <laughs> of my workouts. So I am just loving how open and airy the garage feels. It does not feel um, like cluttered at all. Besides that, I need to get rid of this. Like that is on my priority to-do list <laughs> this week because it's just taking up space for no reason at all. Um, but besides that right there, like everything is just coming along really well. There's like 
not really anything else that needs to be put up um, in my garage, so I'm so excited about that. Now on over to the garage, or the garage, the workout space. So um, this is my little like cheapo <laughs> depot organizational um, organizer. This is actually a shoe organizer, but I decided to use it as a like workout equipment um, organizational system, mainly because it was cheap, it looked functional and yeah. <laughs> and then I also got this little like rack hung up. It's supposed to um, hold all of my resistance bands. I also have like some of those smaller leg resistance bands that will also hang on this, but it's just a simple um, rack that will keep this or keep these somewhat organized so it won't be too hard to just grab one and go. I went ahead and put my um, treadmill over here because I thought this was a good place to put it. Um, it's kind of in a corner. It's just not too much in the way. So I just have it kind of like in this little corner area. And then over here are our mirrors. Super excited about these mirrors, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Cannot wait to get um, started working out in the garage. And uh, like, I cannot wait, y'all. Doing squats, doing weight lifts, like everything in here. I'm just so excited about these mirrors. Like the perfect position in my garage, um, the perfect height, the perfect width. Just everything is perfect. Down here, we have the bench I was telling y'all about. It's like, one of those benches that can um, decline, uh, incline, it can sit flat. Whatever you need for your bench to do, this is one of those benches. So I just, I love how functional it is. And like I mentioned earlier, it does fold up. So if I needed some extra room, I can like fold this all the way up and it just like sits against the wall and it takes up no space at all. I also just have my fan sitting right here and my mats that will be put up in just a second. So that's pretty much the gym area. It's not too fancy, but it is functional enough for me to get a good workout in, a good sweat in, get some cardio in, do some resistance training, like all of it. So yeah, now that the big stuff is taken care of, like put together and everything, I'm going to take some time just to organize everything, um, like lay out my dumbbells, lay out my um, stability ball, lay out those little foam mats over there, just to get everything situated so that way tomorrow morning I can wake up and hit the gym, i.e. downstairs in my garage and be good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this organizing and like prepping started. <laughs>
is it you guys i am done <laughs> with my little makeshift um garage gym and i am just really happy with how everything turned out so i'll do like one more little mini tour of everything but it's pretty simple it's not the prettiest <laughs> home gym i may like add some little like decals on the wall at some point that's like motivational workout quotes um so it's not like the most like appealing to the eye but it is like i feel like it'll be very very functional for a regular 30 45 minute workout and yeah i'm just y'all know i always say i'm excited but i really am excited about this home gym so let me give y'all one last look at everything so again over here is our little workout station <laughs> um so we have our fitness bands uh jump rope um these kind of resistance bands for the legs all that fun stuff is hanging on the wall down here we have our um organizer i have my light weights over there kettlebell which straighten that up a bit um my kettlebell my medicine ball earlier i said it was 12 pounds i don't know why i said that the kettlebell is 12 pounds but the medicine ball is 10 and it's pretty heavy <laughs> so i think that'll be a good addition to my workout so i got those going on um i have a yoga block because sometimes whenever i feel like i need to stretch i will do some yoga at home so i have that i have my little ab roller down here and then down here is just my little my bag for my fitness bands. I'm not sure what else to put down here. I may find something else at some point, but for now, this is what we have. Simple, but all of my necessities. <laughs> and over here we have our workout station. So I went ahead and added three rows of five um, foam mats. So it's not taking up too much space. I can definitely get my car in here and be totally fine. So that is really good. And then I have my bench just pressed against the wall for now. So whenever I need it, I'll pull it out, but cause it's super light. Like that bench is super duper lightweight. So whenever I need it, I'll just pull it out, push it back in, pull it out, push it back in. But it's a good space. I can definitely do what I need to do um, with this amount of foam. <laughs> Got my mirrors again. Hey y'all, so excited about these mirrors. So yeah, and then I have my little fan, my little handy dandy fan for whenever I get hot, I start sweating. This is supposed to be a fan that gives like a really, really good breeze, a really good cool off. So i um, really happy about that one. And yeah, y'all, that is it. That's it for my gym, <laughs> my little at-home workout gym. So yeah, that is it for my transformation video. But I hope you guys loved it and really enjoyed it. Just showing you guys how to transform your gym into a little like makeshift gym. Um, of course, like I mentioned earlier, I will link everything I can down below. So check out the links down below for all of my equipment and everything. But yeah, I am like so ready to wake up in the morning and like get a good workout in and start sweating and just feel good after like all this <laughs> work was put in. If y'all have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And as always, I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.